One of the big things, and I point this out in my book, that believers need to understand is that our imagination is only really meant to be a viewing screen into the supernatural. It is not a tool of fantasy. See, because there there is a concept that when we start walking in sonship, that we become co-creators. Now, not co-equal. That's ridiculous. We're sons and daughters, co-creators. Well, if you look at how all of that synchronizes together, if it comes into the imagination, it's going to have some kind of a frequency signature that if we speak it out, we're supposed to have enough power from the throne that it actually triggers something in universal mechanics so that it materializes in some way either immediately or eventually so wouldn't the enemy want to keep us totally turned around and screwed up so that we never discover what those co-creative abilities are the lord and i and i'm when when i get back because i've already been there but when i get back i'm going to ask him okay i i get a lot of this stuff i think but You could have just done a lot on your own. And and the only thing I ever hear from him, and it's really kind of cute the way that he says it to me in a way, he says, son, I wanted a family. I didn't want to do all this on my own. I created you all with such great abilities, creativity, color, flavor. What you need to do is be out there using the resources that I give you to complete creation. Whoever said that I completed it said on, you know, on the first day I did this, on the second day I framed everything in, but I made you to be the finished carpenters and you're not out there doing your work. That's why I sent my son as a carpenter.